Next up under select is to edit in quick mask mode. Now what the quick mask mode does is it allows you to actually paint a mask onto your page. Let me just demonstrate that quickly here. We'll go here into select and edit in quick mask mode. Notice how the quick mask mode down here is now selected and we have black and white. As you recall from a previous discussion I did, if we paint with black, we're adding into our selection. If we paint with white, we're taking out from the selection. Let's just grab our paintbrush tool here. And I'm going to paint a little selection right around this fish. Just kind of like that, just kind of following around the contour of the fish, not very carefully. And then I'll fill in just like that. Now I haven't painted on my image. What I've done is I've painted in a mask. If we now go to select an undo edit in quick mask mode, that then is my selection. What I was painting in there was the masked area. We can demonstrate that again with the paintbrush tool. I'll just pull across like this and notice how the area that I painted is protected and the area outside where I didn't paint is available for editing or working with or painting whatever. So that's what the quick mask mode does is it allows you to actually paint in your mask. Let's go back to the quick mask mode again. And you can go back and forth all you want. I can refine this by using white. Let me just change over here to a white brush and bring my brush size down a little bit. I'll go to 100% hardness, bring it down like that. And I can come back in with white and paint or remove the mask by using white. So if I am working with black, I'm adding to the mask, to the protected area. If I am working with white, I am taking away the protected area. So if you like to create your masks using your paintbrush tools, then this is a nice way to do it. Obviously on, on something like this with a solid image, using the magic wand is the best way to go. It's just so fast and easy. But let's say I'm over here and it's like our sub image is closed. I'm going to bring the sub back up again. There we go. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And let's say I wanted to mask out this submarine, protect the submarine. An easy way to do that would be to use the quick mask mode. Select edit in quick mask mode. Let me grab my black color. And then I can simply come in and begin to paint right on top of the sub all the parts that I want to protect. Now it'll be a little bit off for me on the edges but I can always go back in, zoom in and then clean that up using the white paint. So anywhere that's red will be protected. Anywhere that's clear won't be protected. Do just a little bit like that. Now I went a little off down here at the back because my brush size is too large. So let's zoom into the back area. Let's switch over here to white. I'm going to bring the size of the paintbrush down. Just like that. And then using the white. The white basically is an eraser in this case. And erase out the mask I don't need. just like that. So I can then use this to come in and paint in or paint out my mask and then the mask is used to create the selection for us. I'm just coming a little tighter right in along here. There we go. We need a little more mask up in here so let's switch over to our black as our foreground color and I'll bring in some mask just like that. Do a little bit on this piece. Looks pretty good. Need a little more mask up here at the front and a little less right there. So let's switch back to the white paint and take a little bit of that out. Okay, let's now zoom out. 
there we go and then go back out of the quick mask mode just like that and there's the selection the submarine is now protected and everything out here is available for painting if I wanted to of course work on the submarine and have this all masked out I would simply invert that selection just like that and there's the inverse so that's the quick mask mode and you also can reach that right down here at the bottom of the tool panel there's quick mask mode on quick mask mode off just like that so if you like to use your painting tools to make your selections this is the way you do it use the button at the bottom down here for quick mask mode there we go and then you can adjust that and when you're finished with that unselect that and that makes your selection one last thing about quick mask mode if you double click over here that brings up the options and you then can choose if the color indicates your masked area or your selected area and the color of your mask. In most cases it uses this red color which masks or matches the old ruby lift technique. So you have some options there as well. So there you go. There's your quick mask mode. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.